first world order radio finally finally we are on the air no doubt all right all right there's always gonna be somebody in the building on first world order radio begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Seen in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. For seen in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. Peace, peace. Once again, we're back. And today's discussion or topic is going to be on the metaphysics of water. Um, the reason why we've been dealing with this issue or topic for the last uh, month is because next to the graph it is most important to have your body filled with the proper water. In this case, it's alkaline water. Your physical body is composed of 75% of water, just like the earth is composed of three-fourths of 75% of water. And the water, for it to be healthy, especially in the human body, it must be alkaline. Now, you have to realize that the brain is also 90% water. The spinal column is 85% water. So in order to maintain health, you know, not only do you know or have to know the science of breathing, you must also know the science of water and then the science of food. All right, once again, we gave the illustration before that you can go a month without food, two weeks without water, only about three to six minutes without the breath. Now, we know that all of these work in conjunction and in correlation. It's a holistic principle. However, we must utilize these principles in its proper order. 70% of the waste produced within your body is supposed to be excreted from via your lungs. 20% from your skin, 10% from your urine and defecation. We have it twisted. We think it would be pee a lot or if we defecate um, at least three times a day, we have the proper fiber contents, which is about um, 20 grams um, of fiber that we are thinking that we are doing what we need to do. 
yet we're shallow breathers. Yet we don't have alkaline water. At the top of the hour at 9 o'clock, a little bit right after 9, after we play um, our song, we're going to listen to um, a couple of brothers who's getting ready to drop some real heavy evidence concerning the topic of the metaphysics of water. But before we get to that, um, I want to dedicate the show to the godmother of metaphysics, and that's Sister Burke. Um, I had Chef Shoot. Um, she passed a few weeks ago, and so we dedicate this show to her, as well as also we giving um, shout-outs. Make sure you send your prayers to his brother, Dwayne Waters. Um, he was shot um, out there in St. Louis, all right? Um, brother, real positive on the information, and um, just send forth your prayers, send forth your healing energy, some of that Reiki, some of that pregnant killer, some of that chi. All right? Um, we're going to talk about the metaphysics of water in which that um, you might have heard her speak about Mona Harrison. Um, she was medically trained at the University of, um, of Maryland, Harvard University, and Boston University Medical Center. Um, she's a former um, assistant dean of the Boston University School of Medicine, um, as also the former chief medical officer for the D.C. General Hospital. Um, she directed the trauma center, the emergency center, and the outpatient services. Um, she was also the former director of the Inter um, International Water Council. And prior to her death, she specialized in pediatrics and family medicine. She went all over the world gathering information for us. And this is some of the information which that she brought back to us. She said, when we are born, our bodies are filled with water. With a water now that has a special, that has a specific cluster form. Now, that form is six-pointed star configuration. Dr. Harrison said, especially the brain and the liver has water that has a high or large number of negative charged hydrogen ions. Now, anybody knows that that is actually what we need to be taken in in order for supreme health is negative ions. A water cluster is a ring of six molecules that share common hydrogen bonds. Now, we know on the periodical chart, hydrogen is the first element. And all else is nothing more than variances of hydrogen. The six-sided shape enters the cell most easily, like a master key that opens the lock on many doors. In its free state in nature, the water molecules have two positively charged hydrogen ions and one negatively charged oxygen ion. Cellular processes in plants and animals store energy in the hydrogen ion by capturing free electrons. The stored electrons change the hydrogen ion from a positive charge to a negative charge. Hence the reason why we should master Qigong, Tai Chi, Reiki, Pranic Healing, all of these are dealing with universal life force energy in which that as we breathe in and take in through our um, hair follicles, um, as well through our skin, through our, um, specifically our melanocytes, um, this is what happens. We change the structure of our blood, which is 4.5 liters in the human body. That's about how much it is in the human body. And not only do we change it, uh, we change from, from positive to a negative ion, which is most necessary, all right? So a healthy cell is a miniature hydroelectric station. Water flows in and out. Energy is produced and stored. We gave you the illustration um a few weeks ago on the areas in your body where you store energy because your physical body, as we just finished stating, is actually a battery. Your melanin is a partially charged battery in which that needs to be recharged hour a day in the sun. All right? Now, this information, 
You can read it in African Origin of Biological Psychiatry by Dr. Richard King, as well as in his other book, Melanin, The Key to Freedom. Also, Jazzy Melanin by Carol Barnes. Um, the Science of Melanin by um, T, um, Dr. T. Owens. And many other books in which that you can get, in which that talks about um, the science of how to store energy utilizing your melanin. Now, we do have advanced studies in the field of quantum mechanics and the law of cellular and biological regeneration of our DNA. Um, Dr. Harrison was led to this discovery of the value of, the value of water, its physical, um, psychological, and spiritual properties as the key to our rejuvenation and longevity. Thus, she devoted about 25 years traveling the globe, meeting with scientists from Europe, Africa, and Asia. Now, while she was in Asia, and specifically in Japan, she met with a doctor, which that we spoke about in, the, um, in a few shows ago, by the name of Mosaru Emoto, who did an experiment with water, in which that he demonstrated that this a spirit in water, as the Africans and the indigenous people of this planet have been saying for eons. Water carry memories. That's what it does. Water carry or harbors memories. Now, the experiment that he did, he said bad things into this one glass of water, you ugly, you evil, and blah, blah, blah. They took that, freeze the water, looked at the molecules under the water, found um, out the molecules under a microscope, and they seen that the molecules looked discombobulated. It looked like a blob. Then they took another glass of water and said positive things into it. I love you. Mercy, love, right, so forth and so on. They froze that glass of water, looked at it under a microscope, and it was a six-point star configuration, snowflakes. All right? It has also come to our attention that you can actually take a picture and place your glass of water on when it's alkaline. It's electrical, and it's also magnetic at the same time. And the water will actually... The molecules will actually configure to the image in which that you are given it or that you have to water on. So if you take a picture of the sun, um, cast no solar flares, guess what? Under a microscope, the molecules will look as if solar flares are casting off the sun, but it's coming from the water. So the water carries memory. It also is an imitator. Remember, water form is shaped to whatever characteristics in which that you give it. So water is based on your intent, based on your feeling. Hence the reason why the moon, which is supposedly feminine, magnetic, um, correlated to the 28 days as the menstrual cycle with the woman, which is part of what the water of life. It also controls the magnetic tide of the ocean, Water. The way? So, think about if you take a picture of the moon and place your glass of water under. So, these are things that we have to begin to start thinking about that water is much more than what we think. All right? Now, when she went to Europe, Africa, Asia, she met with these particular scientists who were advanced in the discoveries of this new water technology, which she made available to her public, you know, in lectures. You can actually get on YouTube and look up Mona Harrison right now. Well, not right now, but after the show, of course. And you can see the heavy information that she dropped off. And this is one of the reasons why it is stated or alleged that she was killed for her information. And the fact that was that she was bringing it back to 
the so-called black community. Because the information is packed with scientific proof and evidence of the effects of this clean, sanitized water source. Working in concert with these special scientists from all around the world, she developed a particular kinship with several water experts, like you said, from Japan, who had studied with Russian scientists in this field. She later became one of the distributors um, of certain um, machines, all right, the machine in which that now have, um, now that is real popular is the, the Kangen water machine or the Kangen water machine, all right, um, which is one of these special waters with healing properties for humanity. Um, to this end, she devoted the latter part of her life work as a service to humanity. So we have to respect um, her 25 years of research in this field, giving us something now that we can analyze. All right. Now, some of the things that she broke down, as you will see in her video, is that cancer tumors cannot live in alkaline water. All cancer patients should be on alkaline water. And you and I should be drinking alkaline water. So our bodies won't provide an environment for the cancer tumors to live. Cysts are the beginning of tumors, which lead to cancer, because minerals are deficient from the part of the body. Cancer is a long period of mineral deficiency caused by an over-acid condition of the body. In other words, too much mucus. Excess mucus, too many dairy products. Alkaline water is fantastic for insomnia. As we said, the brain is 90% water, and when it can't maintain the percentage, it will pull water from all other parts of the body. Salt, um, caffeine, nicotine, volume, other um, drugs, behind the counter, over the counter, Alcohol, sugar, put your body out of balance. If you don't keep your blood pH levels at 7.4 or above, death will occur. In fact, death will occur if the blood pH goes below 7. Are y'all listening to me? The hydrogen ion is positively charged. Change from hydrogen ion into a negative charge. The liver loves negative hydrogen ions. This is why kidneys and liver problems can be helped with alkaline ionized water. Urine has a strong odor that keeps on a healthy body. If the body is balanced, there is no ammonia or protein in the urine. And over Acid body cause kidney stones and gallstones. And if you don't know what that is, that is calcium deposits um, within the kidneys and the gallbladder. That means that the body don't know what to do with the calcium because it's not enough vitamin D. The vitamins act as a um, Catalyst for the minerals. Now, where does vitamin D come from? It comes from the sun. The sun rays interacting with your melanin produce vitamin D, which is a hormone, which is reabsorbed back into the skin as you spend your hour in, to, um, in the sun. It goes into your bloodstream in order to help with calcium. So that means that you can't have a calcium, calcium pineal gland or calcium deposits being stored up within the kidneys or in the gallbladder or anywhere else in the body. The kidneys, the heart, the liver, brain, the intestines, um, the skin, are all electrolytic membranes that need to be, that needs um, electrolyzed water. Ionized water is great for um, ADD which is attention deficiency disorder, whichever that is. 
you know, which supposedly is caused by too much rhodium and um, um, arrhythmia in the brain. So um, ionized water harms um, this type, um, these types of children. Alkaline ionized water allows greater penetration than any other water because the cluster cells are small and thus wrinkle or reduce because the skin is getting the water it needs. That's the reason why we age or look like we age because the skin is not getting the proper water. When alkaline ionized water was used with all time of patients just by drinking a gallon a day, their celebrity problems subsided. Why? Because Alzheimer's disease is produced by too much aluminum being stored in the brain. So that means that alkaline water has to be in order to remove heavy metals from the body. That means lead, mercury, aluminum, etc. Alkaline water is the frequency of the pineal gland, y'all, and thus affects all other glands. Below the pineal gland, that's the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, thymus gland, the pancreas, spleen, adrenal glands, the testes, within the woman, the uterus, and the ovaries. This is why the water can lower blood pressure and blood sugar, shrink and enlarge prostate, stimulate sex drive, improve vision, improve MS and Parkinson's disease, just to name a few. Now, the problem is that reverse um, osmosis water unit removes too much minerals from the water that our body needs, and it is too passive for the body to help the over-acidic condition. Same with distilled water. It's neutral. Dead water, and it has no minerals or charge, so it has the taste of being um, of leaching minerals from your body when you drink too much of it. Alkaline ionized water converts the inorganic minerals present in the water to organic minerals, just like plant juice. Ionized water ties up free radicals from attacking healthy cells. Also, we are aging too fast because we are acidic and dehydrated. And a lot of us don't get a proper amount of sleep or rest. Remember, we said that it Disease comes in two forms, toxicity and deficiency. Too much of something and not enough of something. You always have to maintain my yacht, that balance, that order, that harmony. Alkaline water is the most powerful liquid antioxidant that can rebuild the immune system, which is the defense system. All right? Um, you can read this book. It's called Alkaline's or die by Dr. Uh, um, by Rudy. I think his name is Bob Rudy. All right? Um, he states that that's the best and the quickest way to get the body alkaline is by um, an ionized water. All right? Um, you also um, had um, Dr. Batman um, Jalebi. Now, Batman Jaliti Wait, what happened with him? He also mysteriously died. But he had a book called My Body Many Cries for Water. All right, or Your Body Many Cries for Water. It was that he describes the many cures for many illnesses by um, drinking at least eight Glasses of water, all right, um, and, um, he advocates from every um, quarter, one should um, take a quarter teaspoon of sea salt and add to it. Hence, iodine, all right? If you don't want to use the sea salt, you can use sea moss, which is also referred to as iris sea moss, or you can use um, kelp or 
Corella, which is called Sun Corella also, or Bladder Rack, or um, this. All right? These are plants from the sea. And which that has, or either dandelion. All right? Dandelion is from the sea, but it is um, one of the most um, nutritious um, earth plants. They refer to it as a weed. But um, if you don't want to use um, the sea salt, you can use those herbs. So just like many nutritionists who believe that the, most people are walking around with malformed or scurvy um, through lack of vitamin C, um, Dr. Batman was really saying that he believed that many people suffer from dehydration or deficiency of water. All right? Now, if you're waiting for um sensation of dry mouth and it's not present, it does not indicate that the body necessarily has sufficient amount of water when you have a dry mouth. All right? Actually, by that time you have the dry mouth, actually it's too late. You're extremely dehydrated. So you begin to start developing pain such as um, headaches, migraines, asthma, bronchitis, even possibly pneumonia because they're dealing with respiratory diseases, um, hypertension, diabetes, joint pain, which is like a rheumatism arthritis, gout, and many others, all right, which could have actually been helped, you know, by simply drinking eight glasses of water a day with sea salt or with the particular herbs in which that you may mention of. Now, this makes sense. And only, um, this makes sense because when you go to the doctor, one of the first things that they do is attach you to saline, saline, saline solution. Right? That's the first thing they do is attach you to an IV, which is saline, um, saline solution, saline solution, which is salt water. Why are they attaching you to this? Because they know that salt water alkalines your body. We had a show in which that we spoke about um, urine therapy, in which that we also mentioned a product by the name of Acea, which that I recommend that you all get up on, in which that has sodium chloride in it, which happens to be the homeopathic um, salt for your muscles, tissues, and blood, in which that is connected to Aquarius. We're going into the age of Aquarius. Every age that we go into, we have to get more of that particular salt or have to have more of that particular salt. So we say it's Aquarius, but in ancient comedic teachings, it is actually Heru. This is the return of Christ, as we refer to astrologically. So now Heru is returning. Your hero is returning which is going to be the age of truth, the age of knowledge, of knowing. Pisces is, is passed by. We're leaving Pisces, and Pisces dealt with the age of belief and sacrifice and mortis. All right? We're moving into the age of Aquarius, and Aquarius element or salt is sodium chloride. I'm just giving you this science so y'all can know. All right? Now, um, in um, with Dr. Batman, in his um, The Body Many Cries for Water, in his book, um, well, he was an internationally renowned researcher, author, advocate of natural healing with the powers of water. He was born in Iran in 1931. Um, he attended um, St. Mary's Hospital Medical School of London University, and he studied under um, Sir Alexander Fleming, who shared the Nobel Peace Prize, a Nobel Prize for the discovery of penicillin. 
So, right? Um, yeah, I think he wrote the book, Your Body Needed Cries for Water, back around 1992. All right? In which that he um, breaks down the dehydration actually produces pain, meaning degenerative diseases, including asthma, arthritis, hypertension, angina, um, onset, um, adult onset of diabetes, lupus, and um, um, musc- um, multiple sclerosis. All right? He um, basically said, You're not sick, you're thirsty. Don't treat thirst with medication. And he devoted over 20 years of his life to promoting um, public awareness of the healing powers of water. All right? Supposedly died of complications of um, pneumonia on November 15, 2004. And right here in, um, right in, um, in the United States, in Virginia, he was on um, was, um, 73. But he really died under mysterious circumstances, just like Dr. Mona Harris. They do not want us to know the signs of water. They do not want us to know that water carry memories and messages. And those memories and messages are based off of your feelings and your intentions, as well as also the grass or the glyphs and what that you project onto the water. In other words, if you knew the science of Reiki, in which that Reiki has four particular symbols, which is um, Choku Rei, Seheki, Honsha Shishonen, and Deko Mio, if you were able to project these particular symbols into the water prior to you drinking it, you would actually have Reiki water. Because everything that, was that you touch leaves an auric residue. Hence, memory. Genetic memory. All right? Some people, um, in order to clone, they say that they can take a strand of hair, a drop of blood, um, a drop of spittle or spit, you know, or whatever the case is. And they can clone a whole other you into existence. What that means is, like we said before, that your body is a hologram, and a hologram needs light primarily to live. Secondarily, water. Thirdly, food, which is actually capture, um, which is nothing more than encapsulation of light. But it's a secondary source of it. But all of this work in conjunction in the holistic principle. With the um, primary light, with the primary light being the sun, one of the things in which that correlates to um, with it is why you are out there for our in the sun light is to breathe. And we are giving the illustration of pranic breathing, three different methods, two in particular. Seven, one, seven, one, which is you breathe in for a count of seven, hold it for one count, breathe out for a count of seven, hold it for one count. Four, six, three, six, three. Breathe in for count of six, hold it for three. Breathe out for count of six, hold it for three. And as you're doing this pranic breathing, what you're doing is expanding your org field beyond three feet, which is not the average person to 15 feet. Okay? Now, he says sufficient amount of water for every two pounds of well, body weight, he recommends that you drink one to one ounce of water. So someone who weighs 200 pounds should drink at least 100 ounces of water. All right, this is what Dr. Batman um, said. All right, so it's important to drink enough water regardless on whether else one drinks because beverages like coffee, tea, or carbohydrate, um, carbonated, excuse me, beverages, you know, um, dehydrate the body and tend to produce signs of illness. You drink sodas, more than likely you're going to have um, adult onset of diabetes. Your pancreas um, and the insulin, which is the hormone produced by your pancreas, is going to be messed up. We've tested Sprite. 
which is supposedly one of the more milder forms of carbonated beverages. Not as acidic as we would think Coca-Cola is, which is able to remove battery acids. It's more powerful than battery acids. Mm. Water should be consumed upon waking up or rising in the morning and at a two-hour interval approximately throughout the day. In addition to water, one easily overlooks the components of adding the sea salt or the recommended um, herbs that we may mention of, which um, Dr. Batman recommended about one-eighth of a teaspoon um, taken on the tongue, uh, which, of course, like we said, it can be the herbs in which that can be in replace of the sea salt. Um, but being that they do give the same solution, when you, when you first go to the um, hospital, if you are in serious condition or some type of condition, um, the first thing you want to do is realkaline your body. All right? What he studied is that based on dehydration is the culprit behind many of the conditions or diseases in which that um, you go to the doctor for, allergies, um, heart angina, um, arthritis, rheumatism, um, gout, um, asthma, bronchitis, even pneumonia itself, um, autoimmune disease, um, back pain, um, cancer, constipation, diarrhea, um, depression, um, diabetes, um, fibromyalgia, um, heartburn, also reflux disease. Um, people claim that doctors are telling them that they can't heal or get rid of reflux disease. That is not true. Um, cholesterol levels high, blood pressure high, um, low energy. Um, person wakes up in the morning lethargic. Wake up with low energy. Been asleep all night. What kind of sense does that make? We gave you a remedy for that. Lay on your right side in a fetus position, your right hand underneath your ear, your left hand over your navel chakra. And you will lay like that nearly all night long. And as you're breathing, you're actually being that your hand is there, your hand is turning the breath to go into that location. And so you're storing energy into your navel chakra, and you will wake up in the morning revitalized, re-energized, rejuvenated. Why are people giving you this information that we're giving you here on the Arlene Bay Show? For the last few years, I've been listening to Block Talk radios, even been on many shows, but I'm not hearing practical application practical things that you as the listener can take and practice immediately and do immediately. He also says migraines, headaches, obesity, pains, skin pain conditions, and many more is caused from the dehydration. Dehydration. Your body really cries for water. Your body many cries for water. You also have Dr. Theodore Baruti, um, who spoke on the ionized water. He states it is definitely a health benefit to anyone who would use it. I predict that the use of electronically Restructured alkaline ionized water would change healthcare on a worldwide basis. Though a very detailed system of testing and analysis covers 170 areas called biokinetics, I have seen the following areas strengthen and stabilize on my clients by restructured ionized water. 
urethia, kidney gravel, which is kidney stones, lymphatic vessels, which means we have swollen lymphoids or toxins and poisons in the lymphatic system. It's supposed to be part of your thymus gland, part of your immune or defense system. When that's out of whack, because your thymus gland up to the age of puberty, around the age of 12 to 13, 14 years old, begin to shrink and become atrophied. Prior to that, they act as a pump, just like the heart does for the circulatory system. The thymus gland acts as a pump for the lymphatic system. So the ancients have a technique in which that you actually tap on your thymus gland 25 times, three times a day, so 75 times a day, 25 times in the morning, 25 in the afternoon, 25 in the evening. This is part of Qigong and Tai Chi. Learn these principles in which we're talking about. Alkaline acid imbalance, kidney, colon, stomach, pancreas, was all help with this restructured alkaline ionized water. So we've seen a lot of people who are walking around with dialysis having to go to um, dialysis clinics, having to be hooked up to dialysis for the kidneys because the kidneys are too weak. Can't even produce pee or urine on his own. Study Qigong, and you will know that by doing your kidney massages on a daily basis, that that will strengthen your kidneys. The sound for the kidneys is the ka sound. Ka. Is the ka sound. K A H. And then you take your hands and rub them together like Mr. Miyagi and you place them on your kidneys. The kidney is actually one of the most easiest organs in the body to regenerate and to heal themselves. One of the most stubbornness is the liver. But that's because it has so many functions in the body. It has over 500 functions in the body. What we get ready to do now in a few is get ready to um have the brothers come on. Um all right. Um Brother Tyreek for one eight eight one, come on on. I can um, drop some of this info on us here that we all need to hear. Peace, peace. Peace, we can hear you out. Hello? Can you hear me? John. Yes, you can. Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey. Brother Lee, hey. yeah. Yeah. the legendary, the legend. You're a legend down here, bro. He's a legend, brother. I hear you. I want you to I'm talking when me and you got into this. Oh. Now, when you was in Queens, I came to the house. I was telling my cool mom. Yes, yeah, I act. the most part. But, um, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we got to get a little feedback. I, we didn't know the mic was on, man. We was, we was conversating in the background, but that's okay. You know, we real. We ain't got nothing to hide out here. We ain't got nothing to hide. Right, right. <laughs> so, boy, you ready for you? Don't let stop on it, out. You ready for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. Yeah, my name is Tariq Bay. Uh, this is my partner, uh, Jules. Yeah, excuse me. You know, we're we, we on the way back from uh, Greensboro, so we had a little background noise of us in the car. But anyway, man, uh, you know, we out here, we we pushing the product that ties into what you were talking talking to, talking about tonight about the uh, alkaline water, man. You know, we got what's called the uh, the Agi, the A-O-G-I. Alkaline on the go ionizer. Now what it is, 
It's a portable alkaline water ionizer unit. Something that you could take around anywhere, you know, whether it be at a restaurant, a ball game, at work, wherever you at. You know, you want to have access to this this life saving water. You know, there's no water on the streets, man. You know, and we say that because we tested the water out here. And majority of it is the city, not good for So, I mean, the way so the way the way that came about, you know, we was I was on the alkaline water myself for the last four years. Me personally, I have a ionizing machine at the house. I paid three thousand dollars for this machine. Now to me that's a good investment. You know, what, what, what kind of price tag are you going to put on your life? So by me drinking this water, I, 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 I've experienced the benefits of this water. But my thing was a lot of my family and friends, when I let them sample this water, they, get, they, they, they got hooked on it real quick, and they always wanted it. So they kept coming to me, you know, bringing their jugs to me, and I keep filling up their jugs. And I'm like, man, you know, this, this is getting crazy. And the reason they were coming to me because of the cost of the machine. Nobody really had three thousand dollars or some of them could be five thousand dollars to pay for a machine. So what's going on right now, you see a lot of people going down to the local uh health food stores, uh or, or, or individuals who do have these iron knots machines and, and certain restaurants, things like that, and they're selling these they're selling this water, you know, the prices vary. You you can you could be paying anywhere from three dollars to five dollars a gallon or even more for this water. So, you know, me seeing that, I'm like, well, for this water to really have a benefit to you, you gotta at least drink a gallon of or more. I mean, you know, we we talking down to what, for every thirty five pounds you may need to drink a liter of this water. So that being the case, you know, that can add up if you if you buy this water like that. So I said to myself, it gotta be a better way to get this water to the masses. How do we get this water to the mass? Because the price is so it's expensive. We gotta make it we gotta make it affordable. So that's what we came up with, you know, the Argy. Man, the Argy it, it you take any take any water, man. You can be anywhere. You can go out there, buy any bottle of water that that may be acidic or buy tap water and turn that water, take that water into the energy flat. Argy. You pour it in there. They have natural minerals. It's a natural thing. These minerals raises the pH of the water. So it, it can raise it up from a to whatever state it is. The longer you let it sit in the IG, it'll raise it. I mean, it can go as high as 9.5 or even a little higher the longer you let it stay in there in a matter of minutes. So this is what we're pushing, uh, Brother Lane, this IG, uh class. Uh, you, you, you know, we, we, we let you check it out yourself because we you want you to see what we had before. You know, we're not, we, you know, you're not going to push nothing that you don't believe in, but you have to see it with your very own eyes. And it, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. That's it in a nutshell, man. That's it in a nutshell. All right. Well, um, break down to us the water hose that you have actually used and tested in which that you was able to transform from an acidic level to an alkaline level. Let's, let's name some of these waters in which that was acidic when you tested it, you know, and what you used to test, you know, did you use pH strips, did you use the drops, whatever you use, tell the audience, please. Yeah, basically what we use are pH test drops or reagents. Now, what it is, it's a liquid, it's red in color, that you can, you, can, you can get it online, you can Google it, pH test drops. Now, you know, that's basic chemistry. Most of us who went through the school system, when we took chemistry, they they, 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 they taught us about acids and bases. And the way you, a way of chemists or a way you determine whether something is an acid or a base is by using a reagent. A reagent means it's going to react to the uh, the ions or the oxygen in that water. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to turn a certain color. So the water that, you know, that the, 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 the number one or the popular brands of water on the market, uh, we, we, we collected a couple of them. I think we grabbed the uh, Aquafina, the Sani, Bob, uh, Now, we didn't do Fiji, but it was there. Yeah, those three right there. Yeah, those all right, three all right, right there. All right. now, uh, now, now, hold on. Now, what was the acidic level of Aquafina? Aquafina was like a 4.5 or 5.5. 
Five, five. Four point four or box. And that was the orange on the scale. Yeah. Know, red, red is all the way. Yeah. Like a so four point four. That was acid. That was acid. Mm. Well, I yeah, if that was a fish tank, you would have to take the fish out of that water. Yeah, yeah. You have to change the water. So it would kill. It would kill. You can't. You can't you, it's not, uh, that's what you're doing to yourself. You still can't survive in acid, you know. They can survive with it a mutate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'll mutate to a cancer or something like that. You don't. You know, You don't want to. You don't want to have that type of environment in your body. So that was off of Peter. The Sony was like one of the worst. And you know, that, that was the worst. Yeah. The Sony was like all of It was like soda. It was crazy. <laughs> nah, nah, don't do that, Joe. You're already in trouble. You know, it was like a, uh, a four. It was a four. A four. That was all the way red. All the way red. Yeah, all the way red, man. It was it was that root chakra water. <laughs> and maybe that's why people act like animals. Maybe they're drinking all the Sony keeping their root chakra for something. I don't know. But, uh, All right, yeah. so so, um, so I, now now when they tested it now now let's go back to the Sony. You said Aquafina. Now what did the Sony come up to when you tested the um pH level of the Sony? Yeah, the Sony was like a four, like a four, four four, four point five. It was real low on the chart. It was one of the lowest so, orders. Top one. Top okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, so you so you telling the so you telling the audience that. The Sunny and Aquafina, which are probably some of the most popular waters in the store, are actually and and they're they're and 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 if you're out here, you work in, it's hot out here. It's about 95 degrees a day. So you're out there in this hot sun, and you parched, you thirsty. So you think you're going to, you're doing something, you're drinking you some bottled water, you're drinking acid. That's what you're drinking. You're drinking acid. You better drink tap water. You better drink tap water, water and drink this stuff, man. It's crazy. It's all the tap water that we get. Yes, tap water, tap water, tap water actually has a higher pH level than the sunny and um, Aquafina, oh, okay. doesn't it? Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and it's a it's a reason for that. It's a scientific reason for that is because when it per, when it, when they're making when when you get in the tap water, the tap water has certain uh, elements in it, uh, certain minerals. Some of the minerals are stored in the water, so these minerals uh, help to maintain a, a, a Lisa close to us, uh, yeah. six six point five to seven of the pH. Now, when you when you take that water and you and you take it through a filtration process. Any filter, the filter is designed to extract certain elements. So the elements that it's going to extract are the very same elements that we're keeping the water uh, in, in, in that pH range, yeah. so it's actually going to drop it. So if you're drinking any type of filtered water, it's going to probably be acidic. That's what's happening to the bottled water industry. They're taking the tap water and they're filtering it, and when they're pulling out the minerals, they, they, they're coming up with acid water. But they, the way they figure it, I mean, who want to test their water? Yeah, I mean, yeah, bring the water, fill the bottles, fill the fill out the minerals. But anyway, who's going to test their water? Who's walking around with pH test drops? I mean, the consciousness of the people went that kind of level so they can sell them that bullshit. I'm sorry about that, but that's what's going on. That's what's going on. The consciousness of the people was not to the point where now a person's going to think about what he's putting in his body. And he's going to test the water and see what he's drinking. And that's what's going on right now. Now that the channel's out the guy, now what's, the, what's your alternative? You can, you can spend uh, $5,000. My one brother was paying $200 a month for three years, man. That's a car payment for a machine. I'm not knocking him if he had to do what he had to do. He didn't have a better option. You know what I'm saying? And so most people are paying three, three, five dollars a gallon for this war. Some people pay $8,000. You know, they don't have a better choice. Argy is here. We have this available. This is, this, is, this, is, this is something that you can buy for under $50. It gets you this life-saving water. Anytime, anywhere you at, you can turn your water into alkaline water. And they can they can get that from Brother Aleem has Brother Aleem has these IG water flags. Get one. Get one. I want one. Yeah, get one, man. But um 
Yeah, man. That, but that's what in a nutshell, all I mean, man. Uh, we, we basically trying to get this thing out here so that people understand what's going on and get this good water. Okay. Now, there were several questions. One of the questions were, what about um, um, Brita water, uh, Britannia water? Britannia water? Have um, right. Have um, anyone tested um, that water? As far as um, you know, because it's supposed to be filtered and all of this information, you know, you know. What what water is this? I didn't catch. What what kind of water is that? Um, Brita. Um, Brita. Um, B R I T A. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, with with that, uh, we we had a brother uh had had some uh he had a filter he had a Brita uh filter if that's what you're talking about he had a Brita filter. Uh, yes. One of those uh, water pitches, where you know that them fills just the water, and we tested right. that water once it came up. Now here's the crazy thing: we tested the tap water, and the tap water was like six point five to, to, to close to seven, right? We took that mm-hmm. same water and we, and we put it into the filter, the pitcher. When the water came up, it was like a five, so it actually dropped mm. the pH. That's where we figured what the problem was. The filters is pulling up the, the certain minerals, uh, but these minerals are, are some of the minerals that's used to keep the water alkaline. You know what I mean? So not saying uh, you shouldn't drink filtered water, but you can still drink your filtered water and just pour it in the out or pour it in, 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 into the algae. You know, you can take that same water, pour it into your flask, and raise the pH back. It's already filtered water. You don't use to waste it, but, yeah, the filters are, are removing some of these... Uh, uh, elements that's actually keeping the water. They're, they're removing harmful stuff, but they're also removing some of the good stuff that keeps that keep, that keep the pH mm-hmm. down. That's what's yeah, going on. All right. So from your experience and from your understanding, 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 what is the proper pH balance that the people need? And um, the fact that this water um, can be um, alkaline to at least a 9.5, you know, based, do you think that based on the um, conditioning of the environment, based on um, the foods in which that we eat, um, as you just been saying, or the acidic water in which that we drink or have drunk, you know, um, how necessary is this? It's very necessary because, you know, like you mentioned, you know, with the environment, uh, thoughts, Food, a lot of these factors are contributing to the, you know, the people being too acidic. And by them, if you already don't have an acidic diet, eat a lot of meats and, you know, you, you, you do things like that, you need to be compensated because your body is constantly trying to maintain a, a balanced pH of a 7, of a, of a 7. So it's doing everything in its power to maintain that pH balance. You know, when your body starts getting acidic, your body uh, has a defense mechanism and it cuts in. And, for instance, when you see people overweight and they're fat and they got a lot of fat around them, we understand what, what happening is that when it's too much, when a lot of acid is present in the body and the body can't uh, get rid of the acid through the normal ways of uh, urination, defecation, or perspiration, if, it, if, it's, if it's not moving the, the acid out through those ways, it's going to result to protecting itself. So rather than let all that acid eat up and eat up your organs, it's like it's like pouring uh, coke on a steak. You know that acid starts to eat that meat. So your body, you know, to protect itself, will coat itself or coat these organs in fat. Fat is actually your body trying to protect itself from the acid. So once you start alkalizing yourself. Then you start to see, you start to lose weight because why? Because your body don't need that fat anymore that is using to protect itself. So that's, you, 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 that, to get this water to, to alkalize your body is very important. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell the people, look, you go drink this water, it's going to solve everything. You got to make some conscious lifestyle changes too. You got to, you know, some people should look at, you know, going to an alkaline diet getting rid of some of the dairy products and the meats and things like that, the acidic foods. you you got to make some of those changes too, you know what I'm saying, because, my, 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 you know, you, you can't stack. And I, I, 
I'm going to be broke in here, but you can't put sugar over shit. You can't just cover it up. You need to clean it up. You need to clean it up. So, yeah, you, you need to clean yourself up. But if you if you can continue with doing it, at least, at least, at the very least, try to balance it off. If you want to eat all this, all this, uh, these burgers and this, this processed food, you need to be drinking two gallons of this water. Two gallons a day. If you could go continue doing that, just to, just to, you know, just to, to, to balance it out, just to compensate for that acid that you put in your body. You see what I'm saying? Because your body's constantly trying to keep that balance. And it will do everything in its power to keep. When your body is done fighting, to keep that pH balance, and that pH balance stops being at that uh, neutral state, then you, you start to deteriorate and die. Yeah, you, you, you start to die, you know. So, and Dr. Savage proven this hundreds of times by just giving people the good water and taking their diets in the earth and stuff like that, bringing the afterlife in their bodies, and, you know, curing things like cancer and, and AIDS even. I mean, because all diseases are based on the pH of the body. You know? All right. Now, now, there's a question in the um, chat room in which that tell us what does this remove as far as does it remove fluoride? Does it remove um, other heavy um, heavy um, metals um, that's in the water? Um, does it remove ammonia? T- tell us what does this do? Does it? What does it do? Yeah, it's the, now the filter. See the, the, the filter. That, that we have in it, the filter removes, uh, you know, the chloride. I mean, I'm sorry, the chlorine, uh, fluoride, and some of the other uh, harmful elements, you know. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we have uh, that, you know, marketing material. We have uh, certain information about this. All one has to do is really Google alkaline water and, and give a list uh, or give them a short education on what this thing does. But, yes, it does remove uh, some of the elements are harmful elements in the water. But more importantly, the natural minerals uh, add elements to it. You know, elements such as uh, magnesium and things so that put that into the water. So, you know, like I said, it's 13 minerals inside this uh, flask. I don't have a list up in front of me right now. There's 13 minerals that uh, help in the alkalize the water, charge the water, and add uh, minerals into it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of them is turbulent. Yes. yes, that's one of the yes. main ones, that's right? The turbulent, right? Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, that's one of the elements that's actually alkalizing the uh, that's raising the pH of the water. This is the element. Cause you gotta think about it. I mean, alkaline water. A lot of places uh, geographically around the world, you know, has this water come naturally from the ground, from the springs, and that's because the water is running through the rocks, so these minerals that's already in the ground. When you look at nature, nature doesn't have a machine that produces the ionized water. You know, the, the creator that doesn't have anything plugged up somewhere that's uh, ionizing the water. Nah, this is natural minerals that do the same thing. So that's the basic science of it. You got to understand, there's minerals that does the same thing. This is a natural thing. It's a natural process. Not the artificial about it. There's no, when you get an RV, there's nothing to plug it in, none of that. You grab it, pour some water in it, you put the top on it, and you shake it. And after about five to ten minutes, you're going to have that purple stuff. <laughs> the real purple that, stuff. That purple drink. I yeah. that purple drink. That purple drink. You know, it's going to be that purple stuff. That nine point, that nine point right, 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 right. We're not talking about David Chappelle, how um, black folks like um, um, grape drink. <laughs> That great, 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 because the brain is what is used in order to do what? Control every function of the body. Of the body. Yeah, I mean, because you got, I mean, you got to understand. I mean, when, and, and we got to come up with a better word. I don't like the word alkaline water. I mean, it's just well, much well, water. Well, it's like you said, chocolate water. That's the only thing. Yeah, chocolate water. Yeah, 
Jack Award. I mean, come on, man. When you look at the PA scale, the PA scale ain't nothing but the shock. If you remember, right. even when we see you, right. when they were saying cream, I know you probably don't build on this, but, you know, we didn't get to hear the beginning part of the show for you on the road, but you know what I'm saying? I already know you built on that. You know what I'm saying? How the shockers represent the same PA scale. So if once you are, once we call an eight month, then you ultimately know this is life. This is what we need to live. Well, what we seen, what we seen with the um with the pH uh, with the pH strips as well as also with the pH charts, we see that everything moves from red to purple anyway, you know, which happens to be the chocolate colors from which is called Roy G. Blair for red, orange, yellow, um, green, blue, indigo, violet, you know, which is also purple. So, um, we have some questions when we get ready to go to um, the lines right now. Um, let me see. We have caller four seven two seven and then we're four seven two seven. You're on the line. You're on the air. What's the question? Caller four seven two seven. All right, we're gonna go to the next caller. It's one two one five. Peace, peace. This is Coach Kyer in the building. Coach Kyer, how you hey. doing, my Shindai brother? Coach. Salute to my Shindai family and my Agio uh, Chakra Water family. I just want to call in with my testimonial. Like, I don't, I don't have no more questions because the proof is in the pudding. You know, I just want to tell my little personal story because, you know, I deal with water. I deal with the life structure water. I had known about the alkaline water for years. I didn't have $5,000 to buy a machine. I saw one on eBay for like 3800 and it was still a little beyond my means. Well, last Saturday, as you know, we had the Healing the Human Family and the Chakra Water, a.k.a. Alkaline Water, was in the building because it was supposed to be because that's how we heal the family. And I went over to the brother's table, and they asked me what was my water of choice. And I am an Aquafina man. I've been drinking Aquafina. I don't like Dasani. I don't like none of that other stuff. I drink a smart water every now and then, but... If I got it's up to me, I'm gonna drink Aquafina. And I always wondered why Aquafina had such a big taste to it, like almost like a clear Kool Aid or something. So they opened a fresh they opened a fresh bottle of Aquafina right in front of me, poured it in a little cup, and dropped the pH level, and that rascal turned a rusty yellow, like a golden yellow. And we put the pH scale on it, and it came up like a four, four and a half. And brother, brother Jerudy looked at me and said, "Man, you've been drinking pee pee." <laughs> and I said, and I looked at him. You know, most of the time, you know, if another, if if one grown man tell another grown man he drinking pee pee, you might take offense. But I couldn't say nothing <laughs> because that's exactly what it looked like. You know, what I'm saying it looked like some straight urine. Now we know that urine, you know, at times is good for us, but I don't. That, that's for urine therapy. I don't want to be drinking urine all the time. So, hey, Coach, you know, and you, Coach, you know that much, Coach. <laughs> hey, you know, because when the truth hits you, man, you know, only fools duck when the truth is thrown at you. So I don't, I don't try to regard myself as no fool. I know some, there's a lot of things I don't know, but I know if I see it right in my face, I got to go ahead and acknowledge the truth. So it took the same took the same water and poured it in the in the um, chakra water flask, the energy flask, shook it up. We sit there and talked for like 30, 45 seconds. He poured, it, he poured another sample of water into another cup and dropped another pH drop in there, and that joint just turned straight violet. I mean, straight violet. And I was like, so let me get one of those. So Coach Kyer got the flask. I've been drinking the water since Sunday. I got the flask on Saturday. I went, I went home. I cleaned it out, activated it with the boiling water, and I've been drinking it heavy since Sunday. But Sunday, I had, like, so many revelations, and my thoughts were so clear. I ain't have no headaches. I wasn't hungry that day. 
it was just like, and I had all this extra energy. I had all this extra energy. So I even came back to the School of Creativity, cleaned my whole office up, straight on alkaline energy, son, and just was drinking the water, just filling up. Every time I drink one because the water tastes like silk. It just goes down so refreshing. I was just like, man, this is not, you know, this is not no what I've been drinking. So I went back and tested the water that I had been drinking probably for the last six months. Since I've been at the School of Creativity, we have the blue distilled water that's delivered to the school now from the blue. And I tested that water, and it came up to be a five. So I've still been drinking acid. So I want to let everybody know whatever water that you're drinking, at least test it so you will have an honest interpretation of what you're putting in your body. Because I, I, I know they say drink eight glasses of water per day or at least drink eight, ounce, eight ounces of water per um, per hour. But if you're still putting acid in your body, I feel that you will be doing just as much harm as if you were drinking gasoline or turpentine or something like that. And I already, mm. you know, I already have um, a cancer survivor um, who has just, was just in the elevator today talking about how she's been treating her lymphoma, you know. And I was like, lymphoma, that's a, that has something to do with somewhere in a, a cellular breakdown. I'm sure Prince Eileen could go into it a little further how alkaline helps lymphoma because I definitely would like to hear about that. If anything, that would probably be my question, but she already got hers already today. So I encourage everybody listening right now, if you do not have your flask, you know, you need to go ahead and step up to the plate and get one. And the thing is, if you do have the conjuring machine, if the power go out, the machine don't work. You know, so you just got $5,000 sitting up on the shelf. You know, I got this water right here. I can just put some tap water in it, put some well water, shake it up, and I'm ready to go. So I definitely appreciate, you know, uh, Brother Tariq and Brother um, Tahuti for definitely sharing that love with the family so we can heal the family. But, Aileen, if I got any question, I guess could you talk about the effects of the alkaline water um, as far as with cancer patients and specifically for the lymphoma so I can take it back to the system? Okay. Um, well, we spoke about the science of alkaline water um, in this regard about the 9.5 water in which that um, is highly alkaline and how alkaline water actually recharges and reboots the immune system. And cancer is nothing more than an acidic state, and we see why. If we're drinking water in which that is 5 point um, something, you know, or 5.0, whatever the case is, or lower, then that is acidic water. And so your body is 75% water. That means you're putting water in it in which that is merging um, with already a uh, um, condition such as you breathe it in chemtrails, um, you breathe it in pollution. Um, you take it in genetically modified food or organisms, or genetically altered um, foods. You're doing all these things. So it is already, it's not giving you any alkalinity whatsoever. They're purposely making us acidic or a sick. <laughs> all right? This is done purposely. So alkaline water, uh, what it does is get the cells the proper um, cluster. Um, in order to remove toxins and poisons from out the cell, and well as also get the ability in order to recharge the cells with the energy in which that you breathe in, from, like we said, from that hour in the sun, and this will cause a healing effect within the body. Um, we recommend, along with drinking up the water, is the science of breath, the science of um, um the science of um dealing with the sun, a, um, an hour at least a day. Um, we recommend all of these things um, be done, you know, because this is holistic and we want to keep everything in a holistic manner, you know, but all of these things have to be done. Like we said before, um, you can go without breath for about three to six minutes, water, a week and a half to two weeks, food, about 30 days to 40 days or so. All right? So, um, we see that the most important or the primary um, source is that of the science of breath in conjunction with the sun or with the stellar energies 
which is universal life force energy, in which that you master through your Qigong, Tai Chi, Pranic healing, Reiki, so forth and so on. So we recommend that you do that um, on a daily basis, you know, um, along with drinking this water. Like you said, up to um, if you're 200 pounds, then you need at least um, 100 ounces of this water a day, all right? Um, within, um, I think it's, what, 16 ounces is um, per um, 8 ounces per pint, um, 16 ounces per um, what is it? How do you do it? Per um, half a what? Half a what? A liter? Almost a liter? You know, um, you know, uh, 64, half of a um, gallon, you know, and then 128 amounts is a gallon. So you got to actually drink a gallon of this water a day in order to eliminate um, the toxins and to re the body back to its proper, um, back to its proper pH levels, you know. So this is what must be done. Um, we have some callers, and wish to have some questions, so we're going to go to um, caller one, um, 2406, and it was 2406. You're on the line. Please. 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 Please, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wanted to ask brother if he's familiar. Um, I want to share how I have been able to alkaline water using the uh, biomagnets or the rare earth uh, neodymium magnets. Uh, I utilize, you know, I practice, uh, you know, the energy arts, and uh, one of my teachers informed us on how to alkaline our water using these rare earth magnets. You, know, you place them on the north or south side exposure, uh, preferably a, a, one of the neodymium magnets that are, the disc shape, two inch in diameter, about a twelve thousand five hundred Gauss radius. And what that does is it alkalines water. And I've had it tested. As a matter of fact, um, you know, your your blood is like ninety percent water. And uh it, you can actually feel the change in the body, the internal change in the body, uh after, you know, you you, you you've absorbed a substantial amount, you know, of alkaline water of, of the water. Now, um, I heard, heard the brother speak about, you know, silk. You know, I like to refer to it as like sort of like elastic, you know, because you can actually feel the texture. The texture actually changes. It becomes like real soft, you know, like a real soft type of water. And, uh, you know, so so that, that's pretty much, I mean, these magnets are pretty much cost about, you know, under 50 bucks. You know, you can use, uh, you can you can uh, alkaline the water, uh to have it on the exposure for about eight minutes on each side, the north and the south, and that alkaline water, and uh, it'll bring it up to about a pH level of seven and a half to eight. We've had it tested. I've had it tested. Another brother that does the same process has had it tested as well. And, and it's off on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah we appreciate that, brother. Hopefully everybody got that um that information. We said that brother dropped. Um, brother Tyreek, you had a comment to make on that? Uh, basically, yeah. All, all I was gonna say, you know, that's why we got these uh these testing kits, man. You know, we 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 we, we take these sciences and we test it. So if the brother tested it and it does that. You know, shoot me an email because I definitely want to check that out. You know, uh, destinygrind at gmail dot com. Uh, DestinyGrindGmail dot com and let me you know see your results what you did with that but that's that's simply any, anybody said anybody got a process with this water you know this, we all scientists we all scientists you know so we're gonna test it because our thing is our number one goal is to bring this water to the masses so we got to make it affordable for people so whichever ways we can do that I'm all with it but let's let's, let's test the waters and make sure they are. They are where they need to be, and you know that we can we can roll from there, bro. Just like I said, shoot me an email. Let me let me see that. All right, um, we got some more calls. 
um, questions. Um, we're going to go to 8258. The ending was 8258. You're on the Peace. 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 Brother Alim, how are you? This is Brother Ja. Oh, peace, Brother John. Doing gay, doing gay. Hey, um, my my question is a real quick question. I just want to know where I could pick up one of the flags. Well, there's several places. Um, you're talking to mm-hmm. the main brothers right here online now, and um, also, um, being that we've seen this demonstration, Coach Cayenne, um, myself and my wife, we also are now. On becoming distributors of it because um, we feel that this is on this um, necessary. You know, we have to get this water out to our people. You know, because this is one of the main reasons for the um, early deaths is because of dehydration. You know, Absolutely. so contact Absolutely. me specifically at two five two two five seven three five eight eight. That's two five two two five seven three five eight eight. On brother time, same, same number, right? Email right? address. Um, um, I'm sorry, I ran. I missed two five two two five seven three five two eight. That's two five two two five seven three five eight eight. Eight eight. All right, I'm gonna be contacting you ASAP about that because I've been. I've I've gotten you know I've gotten uh, a, a lot of good reviews on the water bottle and um. I had I had, I think I came across a, a one a website, but it didn't have a, a area where you could purchase it online. So that, that kind of deterred me at first. But I I'll give you a call in the morning, God. All right, appreciate that, brother. All so right, we got another question here. Oh yeah, peace and blessings, Peace and blessings, brother. And, and, and let me say this. Let me say this too. Uh, you know, this 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 is such a a wonderful gift, you know, that I came across. And, you know, it's not just mine alone. So I want to make sure that you know I get into the into the right hands to the people. And the best way of me doing that is to let our teachers, you know, brothers like you, Aline, let you get out here and and and, and put your name and your and, and put your stamp on it, your stamp of approval, and you get it out to the people so they can get it through you. Because I right. definitely, I, as talk as commerce, and I definitely want to help contribute to your brothers and make sure that you, you, you your brothers get to, you know, reap some of the rewards, some of the seeds. So we ain't nothing but some of the seeds you sold out here. You learned I remember, yeah, I remember, I remember back in when we was that old, old three or something like yeah. that. When I, when I got that, I was, I was at a low point, and I came across that uh, out of the line, into the wall, and I was, I was popping ever since. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yo, we, uh, we can do anything to help, you know, contribute and give back to you brothers, man. That's, that's what we're about, bro. That's what we're about. Well, well, we definitely appreciate y'all, no doubt. We got two more calls. We're going to go to 6194. Caller ending with 6194. You are on the air. Peace, family. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, brother. Yeah, yeah, this is Brother Bennett out of Fayetteville. Peace, so, brother peace. Peace, peace. Um, I guess two things, really. One, I wanted to give testament to the to the alkaline water myself or the chocolate water. You know, ever since um, Alim and them got the machine down here in uh, Fayetteville, We've been able to get some of that, you know, 8.5, 9, and uh, 9.5 water. And when I first started taking it, uh, you know, it took my meditation to a whole nother level. I mean, it's like my breathing got that much deeper. I could really feel myself absorbing that much more oxygen and just revitalizing my cells. And like the other brother said, you could really feel it on a cellular molecular structure, on on a cellular molecular level you know, really vibrating and changing um, what it's doing within your body. And honestly, when I first started drinking it, it felt like a subtle, you know, full-body orgasm, you know what I'm saying, taking place. That's how intense it was, you know, just really feeling that shift take place within the um, the depths of my being. So, and uh, another um, experience that took place here, there was a brother who had chronic uh, constipation, and he kept going back and forth to the doctor, and he had no results, no success. The doctors couldn't do anything for him. 
and he was suffering from this for about uh, three months or more. And when he started drinking the water, it was either 9.0 or 9.5. You know, within a matter of a week or two, I believe it was a week. I don't want to exaggerate, but um, the brother was having normal and regular bowel movements just from drinking the water. So it reconstructed and realigned his body, you know. So just really wanted to put those words out there for individuals who have not um, been able to get their hands on this water is is definitely crucial in these times that we are living in. And um, the question that I really wanted to pose was uh, um, you were talking about the different minerals and the different herbs to put in the water to to alkaline it and and change its structure and vibration, adding the minerals. Um, Is there any insight that you have on adding uh, sodium bicarbonate to your water to raise the pH and alkaline the water? Yes, um, sodium bicarbonate, for those that don't know, is baking soda, 50 cents from out the grocery store. We said you can take um, like a quarter of a teaspoon um, of baking soda to the last actually and actually um, put within a gallon of water and it will actually uh, realkaline the water also. Also, lemon juice, lime juice, squeezing a lime or a lemon into a gallon of water realkalines the water too. It can also be tested, and it is about 8.2 to 8.5 or so. So these are natural ways in which that um, you can also do it. Um, the testimonies in which that Brother B is talking about is actually from the Kangan water machine in which that um, we purchased from Brother Joel, who we have had here on the show several times, in which that, um, you know, that, this water has been able to change lives. It is, um, as, as he even made mention of, it's been taking his meditations to a deeper orgasmic level, as well as also to the brother who had chronic um, stomach pains, and he went to the doctor and they could not tell him anything, which that, matter of fact, they told him nothing was wrong with him. And he drank this water two gallons. He just got two gallons from us, and he drank this water for that week. And he was having regular bowel movements with no longer any pain, and he has not had any pain since. You know, and this has now been at least going on three months. So um, this water changes lives. You know, um, this is this is why they wanted to, um, this is why they killed um, um, Dr. Mona Harrison. This is why they killed um, Dr. Batman. They did not want us knowing the signs of water, you know, but they ain't getting me, they ain't getting none of these brothers on this line, and none of this um, happening, you know, because we have to promote this to our people. We have to get this information out, and there ain't no punks here, you know what I'm saying, and we ain't calling none of that into existence, you know. The only thing we call into existence is abundance, joy, happiness, prosperity, health, wealth, knowledge of yourself, you know what I'm saying. You know the lines. This is what you need to be manifesting for yourself on a daily basis. So we um, got another call up. It's 8791. Caller ended with 8791. Come on down the air. Good evening. This is Dr. Inhotep. I make uh, Vital Life Structured Water. And uh, Vital Life Structured Water will reverse chronic body drought, which doctors are selling under the trade names of diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, back pain, joint pain, migraine, headaches, asthma, allergies, and arthritis. Over the last five years, I've watched because I've met everybody who's ever bought any of this water because they have to buy it directly. And um, of about, oh, let's say five to 10,000 customers, I've uh, seen people uh, go through a very quick remediation of the symptoms of diabetes and high blood pressure uh, uh, very quickly. And it's because diabetes is a fight between the brain and the body for water. It has nothing to do with sugar. Diabetes is caused when the brain, which runs on water, uh, when it's stressed or uh, when it feels that it does not have sufficient uh, reserves, it will uh, take a very rigid control of the management of water in the body. And what it does is it suspends the production of insulin in order to trap water wherever it is. At that point, you're technically diabetic. 
then the body will redirect water uh, as emergency delivery to uh, the very to the brain, nerves, and vital organs through by using a strategy the doctors call high blood pressure. So it turns out that uh, diabetes is a water management issue. Uh, it has nothing to do with sugar. Now, what happens is the brain will uh, suspend the production of insulin, at which time you're technically diabetic. If you drink water, that will uh, achieve homeodilution, which is the restoration of vital cellular water. Then the insulin will be routinely produced, and you'll no longer be diabetic. Failing to drink water, that will achieve homeodilution, which is the restoration of vital cellular water. The water that's trapped will start to rot, which is why gangrene follows diabetes. Now, um, when it comes down to high blood pressure, the way the brain delivers water to the brain, nerves, and vital organs via an del emergency delivery system is this. It puts vasopressin in the blood. <clears throat> then there are what is called vasopressin receptors on the arteries of the brain, nerves, and vital organs, which when they sense vasopressin in the blood, <clears throat> they turn into shower heads, and water gets squeezed from the plasma of the blood directly into the brain, nerves, and vital organs to keep you alive. Now, because everybody on Earth is suffering from chronic body drop, this is the way that everybody is staying alive. That's why people are losing vital cellular water is because it's being used, being delivered as, a, as an emergency delivery system. Now, where it comes from <clears throat> is the water structures of which your body is made. Water structures are water molecules held electromagnetically to the charges on protein surfaces where they build up rigid in the Z layer, semi-rigid in the Y layer, and as bulk water in the X layer, which can be squeezed from the tissues and is free to move around. Now, when you drink uh, the, um, the structure-breaking ions of chlorine, fluorine, bromide, iodide, rubidium, magnesium, and aluminum in tap water, it breaks down the water structures of which your body is made into water that's used to make urine and used for digestion. And this is where people are losing their vital, body, vital cellular water because these functions must be achieved. But water that has a single ion of any chemical, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be as natural as you, as you may think minerals are. Minerals are not supposed to be in water. Water is water. If you put anything in water, it becomes a solution, which is the polar opposite of water. Your cells will only uptake pure water, and that water must be life-structured. It cannot be H2O. It must be H12O6 which is six molecules of H2O on a hydrogen ring. That's the kind of water you were born with. But from drinking coffee, tea, sodas, and alcohol, the water in your body becomes unstructured, then puddles outside the cells trying to be admitted. But because nature never, never anticipated a time when water would not go into, when what it goes for water would not be able to be admitted into the cells, your body continues to hold emergency reserves of water equal in volume to what should be in the cells that are now dehydrating. And that water is the amount of water that puddles outside the cells, causing bloating and the appearance of premature aging. When you drink vital life-structured water, it immediately achieves homeodilution, which is the restoration of vital cellular water, serving the function that that emergency reserve water is being held for, and that water gets immediately dumped. And to people who are bloated from diabetes, the, you'll see your body change within hours from drinking this water. You can drink a, a, a person who I know was uh, in high school with me. When I saw him, he looked like the Pillsbury Doughboy. His hands were so bloated until it looked like somebody had actually pumped him up. I gave him a gallon of water on a Thursday. When I saw him on Sunday, his body had normal contours, and his blood sugar did not spike. He started drinking the water. Then, for, then after a while, he fell off the wagon and started to uh, started to go back to his old ways, drinking sodas, and within a matter of months he died. But this water will uh, serve functions that the body uh, is intended to, uh, to, to perform naturally. It, has, it conveys 25 million kilowatts of free energy to the body in the form of electrical potential per drop. That's 25 million kilowatts of electrical potential per drop. Now, the reason that's not excessive is because your body is very highly electrical. Every cell in your body requires 100 microvolts or one-tenth of a volt of electrical potential for you just to be alive. Now, when you consider how many cells you have, it means your body is running on 
billions, if not trillions of volts of electrical potential. So therefore, water that has all of its free energy available to the body, as opposed to having its free energy used up making ion bonds, will serve as the fuel necessary to cause any suspended metabolic function to continue to completion. This is the nature of the vital life structured water that I, that I make. All right, um, but, um, Dr. M. Otep, um, please um, tell everybody how they can get in contact with you. Uh, you can call me at 336-553-8791. All right, any further um, or comments, you can Dr. Send me an email. You got, the light, you got the light on them now. You got the light on them. Pardon me? I said you dropped a lot on them. I said you dropped a lot on them. They're thinking hard up in this chat room. Well, I want you to know, uh, what I just shared with you is a product of four years of research at the McNair School of Engineering at A&T College, where I went into the lab with the intention of making the best glass of water on the planet. I studied water in chemical hydrogeology, water in the cells, gels, and engines of life, a book about microbiology that explains uh, how, the, how the cells work relevant to water, how, water, how the cells are made up of water structures. Um, you know, I mean, I've studied everything that has to do with water in the natural universe, water in the chemical hydrogeological cycle, water in the natural hydrological cycle, water in nature, water, water uh, the um, uh, living energies that come to bear in order to cause nature to organize, energize, and structure water. And then I built a machine that directly replicates the natural hydrologic cycle. And in the process, I use no chemicals and no heat, and I use the living energies of nature in order to transduce the toxins in uh, tap water, which are chlorine, fluorine, bromide, iodide, rubidium, magnesium, aluminum, and all the other halomethanes and all that, into non-physical matter, which is energy. Pure energy is healing. And this water has had all the chemicals taken out of it. And when there's no chemicals in water, it has all of its free energy available at the rate of 25 million kilowatts of electrical potential per drop. Now, here's, the, here's why you should never put anything in water. If you put a single drop of a, sm of a chemical into the very best water, if you take, a, 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 say, a, eighth, a, a sixteenth of a teaspoon of anything and drop into a gallon of my water, Within, within a matter of an hour, all of the free energy of that water will be used up making ion bonds. And by the time that is done, all the free energy is used up. The water is now saturated with ion bonds. At that point, as a vehicle for change, it is as useless as a U-Haul uh, truck with somebody else's furniture on it when you need a vehicle with which to move. You'd have, you'd have a truck but you would not have a vehicle with which to move. The water on the earth today is in that same state. Man has contaminated the environment from the top of Mount Everest to the bottom of Marianas Trench with the chemicals since the Bronze Age. And for that reason, the earth cannot deliver water. It can only deliver solutions. Even a raindrop spawned in a thundercloud, by the time it falls to earth, it will be a solution of jet fuel, Auto, auto emissions, industrial pollution, and God knows what else by the time it hits the earth. So it means that there is no place in the natural universe where water is water. It's now all solutions. That's why I had to go to the trouble to find a way to reorganize or to, to purify, oxygenate, energize, and organize water so that it is life structured by putting it through the same exertions that nature puts it through and by using the same living energies that nature brings to bear in order to take uh, water from the hydrologic cycle and make it biologically compatible with all living systems. And this water will reverse diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, back pain, joint pain, migraine headaches, asthma, allergies, and arthritis. Uh, and it's because all of them are water management systems. And bear in mind that the only thing the human body is intended to ingest are things that occur naturally and free in nature. We know what food is and we know what food isn't. But man has never bothered to really undertake a study of water. We've always taken it for granted that anything clear and wet is water. Well, that's not so. 
water has to be very specifically uh, uh, relevant to the physiognomy of biological systems. Now, in uh, the human body, the pH of the blood is 7.3. I would not recommend ever exceeding that pH because when you do, you're moving into uncharted territory because nature did not allow for a pH that high in your body. So if you put something that is higher than your body's natural pH, how is your body going to compensate? It's going to deliberately create acids in order to overcome the excessive alkalinity in order for the body to survive that kind of, of, uh, of an assault. Now, I, I apologize if anyone is, is, is offended by the facts because that is not the intention of my delivery. I just like for everybody yes, who's working I, on water I, I would, I would to understand. Like to we have to me. make sure that everybody understand, understand, understand that that's if they're already on a natural diet, they already have alkaline food that they are um, ingesting on a daily basis, you know, which is electrical food, then yes, that will correlate to that um, also. So um, we don't have too much time here, but um, you have about two more minutes. So please well, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I really said as much as I really feel a need to say, unless anybody's got a question, uh, I just wanted to share with everybody that it's important to maintain the parameters of nature and never exceed the, the, uh, the specifications of the body. That's and, okay. and, and structuring well, guys, and and, and, or, and doing your water. It's important to right, bear in mind. Do have, have a question? We do have a question? Um, hold on, let me see. Well, if my it might be okay. the no, we, we have eight one nine six. Caller eight one nine six. Yes. We have um eight zero nine zero. Yes, eight zero nine zero. You're on the line. Yeah, hey, brother Peace. Uh, this is brother Madu down here in Memphis uh, territory, and uh, just wanted to say great information, uh, highly enlightened. I just wanted to uh, ask a quick question to get the doc's uh, number again to uh, get in touch with him. Y'all kind of ran through it kind of fast before mm -hmm. I have my pen ready. Okay. All right. My number is three three six five five three eight. Seven nine one. I look forward to hearing from you. Yes, yes, but we definitely need uh, some of that water in this area because I know uh, we got quite a few that's starting to deal with the uh, the Kansan system. Um, but however, uh, uh, this vital water, uh, of course, seems to uh, exceed uh, the expectations of the Kansan. So I'm definitely interested in getting that in our area down here. As soon as possible. I'll be so. more than pleased. I'll be be pleased. I'd like to come out and meet you and uh, bring the machine with you and we'll make water uh, in your location. All right, all right. We we look forward. We're definitely gonna uh, deal with your brother and uh, you know thanks for the for the, for the effort. Thanks for what you've done. Uh, that's magnificent. Thank you very much. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. I look forward to hearing from you soon. You will. You will. So right, we have another caller. Zero four one four. You're on the line. Hotel Bud Ali, Miss Highly Favorite. Greetings. How you doing, Highly Favorite? I'm doing good. Great call. Great information. I'm, I really appreciate you sending me the link. And is this being recorded? Yes, it is. You can go back and listen to it um, after um, directly after the show is over. On top, um, what was it, Block Talk? Yes, on Block Talk, yes. You just typed in Arlene Bay. And it will come up. Awesome. Thank you very much. Peace and blessings. Oh, you're welcome. Peace and blessings. You have another call at 4453. 4453, you're on the air. Peace, brothers. Brother um, Zakar. Um, I was just asking, how could I get get the water? Um, uh, well, there's many sources. Um, are you talking to Dr. M. Hotat with his um, life structure water? Okay. Uh, uh, were you asking about the vital? The water, yeah, the, the mm -hmm. water that you was just um, explaining about. Okay, yes. Uh, you can you, uh, you can get it by calling me at 336-553-8791. Okay, bro, what's your name? Dr. M. Hotep. 
Dr. M. Hotel. Okay, bro. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Peace. My pleasure. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you. All right. We have call 1881. 1881, you're on the line. 1881. Ending in 1881. All right. Well, um, thank you all for another edition of coming on to um, Eileen's Live Talk um, Radio. And um, we're getting ready to close out. And um, all this information that you heard about the metaphysics of water tonight, take it, do your own research, analyze, look up the information on the Canadian water machine, look up the information on um, the alkaline um, pod, um, look up the information um, with um, the living structure of water, look up all this information. Do your research, all right? Um, if you all need the information, um, you can go back and play this or listen um, to this over or either contact me at 252-257-3588. That's 252-257-3588. And uh, we're signing off. Yeah. First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance, the most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance System regulates to bring about specifics In the group based on value and natural characteristics Current radiates electromagnetistics Of sound through the air same that your thoughts transmits it Proceed in others in time, order, importance The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments Earthly state of human concerns in existence An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance System regulates to bring about specifics In the group based on value and natural characteristics Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know how intention is straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given out the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories, shit that works. <laughs>